All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to divide, well, I'm gonna try and divide my delphiniums like you do dahlias. It's pretty much the same, only I haven't divided my dahlias yet because they are, well, these ones have only just come out. Got a little bit of a start on that one. I do have some that are at a further stage indoors. Uh, this is my new heated seed bed. It's so toasty. If you want to see how I did that, it's a little heated bed. Specifically, I did it for my dahlias, but of course you can do it for um, seed, any seed starting or propagation. In fact, I do have some other seeds here. So they're not at the right stage, but the point is they these cut the same. So if we look at some of these dahlias that I grew last year for flowering this year, they only have one stem so you can't take a cutting from here's another one here only has what is that one there here's just a weed behind it there so just one stem so there's not a lot i can do with that one but then you see others like this one is a perfect candidate so this is the one i will do it's divided here so we can see that we could cut this one off and create another delphinium of exactly the same variety as this one um, uh, to go out in the garden and here I have another one so I'll keep these here and I'll just clip off this one here and this one I think will also be easy as well so I've got at least three that I can work on to create three at least three new possibly more there's another one there delphiniums before get them rooted before they go outside so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get a jar of water because as soon as i'm a knife sharp knife sharp clean knife because as soon as i take this off i want to throw it in a jar of water all right so here we go what i'll do is i'll just clean off a bit of the soil around here there's my water all right I'm just going to, I don't, can you see? I'm just going to slice through until I free this particular piece here. You can see I've got a bit of stem here. Just check it's not hollow. If it's hollow, it's no good. Just dip it in there. So it should be good to go, that one should make a lovely new plant and what we'll do is just uh, just to reduce the transpiration i am just going to reduce the size of this leaf here i could cut this little one off here can you see that just you know so it's putting its energy into root making just reducing the size of them that in there so that's that one done I'm going to top dress these as well with um, some more compost because I don't want them going out just yet because of the we've had so much rain the slug pressure is high at the moment so I'm going to wait till things get a bit warmer and drier so let's try this one here you can see there's a definite division um, a nice division here between these two plants can you actually see it's really hard for me to see what's going on on the camera screen so let's dig down a bit here let's see if i can actually it would be nice to actually see the let's take it out so you can see it really nice root look at the roots on that so good so good let's open it up a bit and just and this is just another way of doing it really no that's perfect actually and I can pop that straight back in with the top dress look at that perfect it's got a good bit of chunk of the mother plant there 
perfect let's see if we can reduce some transpiration risk by removing that one there and that there that there like so we just pop that in there i have a feeling that second one is going to be more successful than this one and i'm also going to top dress and water this one because i i'm worried i might have just stressed it I could have done this outside of my potting bench, not my lovely new heated seed bed, but uh, it's cosy in here, so I wanted to. If you want to see how I made my seed bed, the video is on my channel. All right, so I can go over there. Now I had one more, I think, that I could take. I I think it's this one here. So do it. I'm gonna go down and feel with the knife. You can feel where it's hard, and then you can just cut it. And hopefully you've cut a bit of root. You need to cut the roots that come with it as well. separate plant. I think it is. <laughs> I'll just pop that one up and I'll leave these because they're quite small. So I'll go and pop this up now. I don't need a huge, I'm going to top dress that one, suppress those weeds and give it a fresh boost of nutrients. And then this one I just want a bit more drainage in my soil. Like so. Because that one has a root system, I don't need to cut the leaves back down. These are obviously delphiniums, the proper developed delphiniums, the perennials. So these come back every year, they die back to the ground and then they come back every year. Um, and they need to be sown the year before if you want them flowering. So they won't flower the same year is what I'm saying. They need a good you know, year to put on growth and bulk. But these ones here, and these are all, I'm going to pop all these up as well, are the annual variety, which are what we call larkspur, delphinium larkspur. And these will flower first year and can be treated as an annual, but I've noticed mine, in fact, do self seed as well. So that's the difference. And you can see a slight difference in the leaf formation as well. This is the delphinium. And this is the Larkspur, the annual Delphinium.
do it a little bit dry. It's a little bit wet that. I think I could probably do the bigger pot to be honest, but I do put a little slit in these here so that they're more flexible to fit in, um, you know, the various different pots. There's one. And go there um, because I don't want them having really direct sunlight until uh, those roots are a bit more developed. All right, so hopefully I'll have four new delphiniums. I'm just back the next morning to check on my delphiniums. You can see they're still standing really nice and proud. You can see where I... So they ha they are doing well. A uh, sign that I've, you know, not done a good job of it would be by now, would be by now that they would be uh, wilting and in trouble. That one's a bit squashed from the bottle, uh, but it's otherwise okay. So obviously you need to keep an eye on these. They're out of direct sun in this warm, toasty environment in the greenhouse. So if we look up here, you can see I've put them here behind. So there's lots of warmth coming in, but they're not getting the direct sun just there. So that's good. And uh, while I'm here, why don't I just show you this completely flowered under the grow lights. It's actually quite cute. I actually quite like it after all that. Um, there we go, delphiniums. <laughs>